Have you ever checked out all the buttons on the YouTube playback video window? Let's check that out. Dave Taylor here, and I spend a lot of time on YouTube. And in fact, I'm on YouTube, but there are a lot of buttons on the YouTube video playback window that I think a lot of people don't realize. In particular, I'll see people say, oh, it's really low res and fuzzy. And it's just like, there's just a button you push to get better resolution. So what I wanna do in this is give you a nice, quick, detailed tour of all the different buttons on the YouTube video playback window. Ready? Let's jump into my computer. Here's one of my videos that I paused it at hopefully what's a humorous moment, but notice along the bottom here, there are a lot of different buttons. Now this is pause play, and that's an easy one. And this one lets you step forward to different videos, or if the video is chaptered, it lets you actually go to the next chapter. This gives you volume control, and you can also quick mute by pushing on it. And then this is volume, so you can make it loud or not so loud. This gives you the amount of time you've watched and the overall duration. Yes, this is a 16 minute video that I'm reviewing here. And then if you have chapters, it actually gives you chapter information. And you might see it's down here that it's giving me different chapter information here. And YouTube does that automatically, which is nice. So I could actually go to that chapter view and I can say, let's go to the specs. And now you can see it's immediately jumped to two minutes, 46 seconds. So that's really helpful. Now here, this one is you can turn off autoplay if you don't like the fact that when you get to the end of your video, it immediately starts playing another one, you can turn that feature off. And once you've turned it off, it's off for everything. So YouTube automatically generates closed captions, which is great because if you don't want to listen to the video or you have some issues with hearing, maybe you're in a super noisy environment, then closed captions are your friend. And then one that's probably one of the most important is this little gear and you click on it and it gets you settings. So ambient mode lets the system automatically darken everything around the video, makes it look a little better. You can turn on annotations if the video creator has annotated it. Maybe after they published it, they realized something was wrong. Here with subtitles, you can actually get, if there are multiple languages, you can actually choose a different language of subtitles. That's more for like a video from HBO or from a local news service or something. Playback speed, if you're watching and you're like, I really wanna get through this, but I wanna catch everything, you can say, let's make it at 1.5 speed. And obviously that speeds things up. I generally have things at normal speed. <laughs> That's just how my brain works. And then one of the most important is quality. So if you click on quality, it shows you all the different resolutions of the video. Bigger numbers are better. So 1080p is your classic HD for a television. And then if you get up to here, 2160 is 4K resolution. Now you'll notice that here it's automatically given me HD resolution. And that's fine for the size I'm viewing, but if I was to push this out to a television, then I might wanna turn it up to even higher resolution, which is done by simply choosing the higher resolution. Now, in this view, it doesn't look any different, but notice this little tiny thing here now says 4K. And then here you can generate a mini player, so you can do other stuff while you're watching the video. This is sort of like picture in picture. And then this one I like is that you can switch from the default YouTube view with all of this stuff on the side, which is helpful with chapters, but generally it tends to have ads or other videos to distract you. And you can change that by clicking on this button that gets you into theater mode, which I like. Now, finally, this doesn't always show up, but this is the cast. This is part of Chromecast. So if I click on this, you can see it gives me a list of available devices that I can just wirelessly send this video to. And then I could watch it on my big 65 inch TV instead of on my computer. 
If I don't wanna do that, I can just close that window. And then finally, this will take us to full screen, which if I do, you will not see all of the video. That's okay. And that's mostly everything. Also, we'll note that if you right click on a video, there are some more things you can do here, including that there are some pretty fun stats here. And as they say, stats for nerds, this is a lot of very geeky stuff that probably most people won't want. But I would say the two most important features here are that YouTube itself can adjust volume, which is what you have on the left here. And then that there's this settings that gives you the access to different resolutions or different video qualities. And notice that YouTube also is giving you a thumbnail as you go. And if you choose that, then it moves usually pretty quickly. And then if you push up, you could actually, I'm now holding the mouse down, you can get to very specific images. So now I can get here and then play and then pause. And so now I can see I've stopped at a very specific spot. Anyway, that's everything you need to know about YouTube and how to get the most out of their video playback tool. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in my next video.